Closer to home now, TriMet riders had to duck for cover after their bus was caught up in the middle of a shooting on the northeast side. It all went down late last night at MLK and Lombard. And that's where Jennifer Dowling joins us now live with this crime alert. So how are riders really reacting today, Jim? Jennifer, they say this is a very scary situation. They found shell casings in the nearby Taco Bell parking lot. The bullet striking that utility box right there. You can see the big holes. The bus stop sits very close to this intersection. Now, the video from last night is pretty dramatic. The gunfire started at around 1140 in the evening. Witnesses say a man was shooting at a person in a car, but then accidentally struck the bus in the process. Officers found shell casings in the parking lot at the Taco Bell, and several cars were also hit in the spray of bullets. Fortunately, no one was hit on the bus, but riders are still nervous about the close call. It's scary. I feel sad about it. What if somebody got hurt or for my kid to? Practically every day. Like, it's my trend. It's my, um, it's how I get to work, how to get, how I get to school, how I get home. It's sort of just like, yeah. It's what most people do when they can't have a car. Like, Although the shooting has put everyone on edge, Gowan says she still feels the bus is safer than the MAX train when it comes to public transportation. Witnesses reported seeing a group of men arguing before those shots were fired. Then a group of cars sped away. Portland's gang enforcement team is investigating the situation. Police do not have any suspects in custody at this time. They ask if you have any information on who may have done the shooting to call Portland Police. Back to you. Jennifer, thank you. In Portland Police tonight.